Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on decimals. So in this video we're just going to be looking at multiplying decimals and dividing decimals. So we'll start off with this example here. Um, evaluate 7.68 times 2.5. So 7.68 times 2.5, I'm just going to write it here a bit larger. Uh, so this is a bit of an awkward calculation to do because we've got a decimal here. So what if we turn these numbers into whole numbers? So here we'll multiply the 7.68 by 100 to get 768 or we'll multiply the 2.5 by 10 uh, to give us 25. So now let's do 768 times 25 uh, which you can do by any means of long multiplication. I'm going to use the grid method here because it's my preferred method. So we've got 768. You can use the column method if you prefer that. Uh, this is just the way I prefer to do long multiplications. So uh, 20 times 700, 2 times 7 is 14. We just add the zeros back in. So it's three zeros. So 5 times 700 is 3,500. 20 times 60, 2 times 6 is 12. Add the zeros back in. Uh, 5 times 60 is 300. 20 times 8, 160. And 5 times 8 is 40. So uh, we just have to add up all of these now. So we got 14,000 plus 3,500 plus 1,200 plus 300 plus 160 plus 40. So uh, this column sums to zero on the right. We've got six add four, which sums to 10. So we put a one in this column here. Five add two add three is 10 plus one plus one is 12. We'll carry the one. Four add three is seven, add the one, add the one is nine. And finally, add the one from this column. So we get 19,200. But uh, at the start, we moved the decimal place here. Uh, so we multiplied by 100 and then by 10. So 10 times 100 is 1,000. So we have to divide by 1,000 here. So we've got 19,200. So if we divide by 1,000, that gives us 19.2 uh, as our final answer. Moving on then, let's have a look at dividing decimals. So here we've got this example, 8.138 divided by 1.3. So I'm gonna turn this 1.3 into a 13 here uh, by multiplying by 10. So that just moves the decimal place and makes our calculation easier. So our calculation therefore is 8.138 uh, divided by 13. So first off, how many times does 13 go to eight? The answer is zero. Uh, so we carry the 8 forward, so we've got 81 here. So how many times does 13 go into 81? The answer is 6, that's 6 times 13 is 78. So 81 minus 78 is 3, that gives us a remainder of 3. So we've got 33 here now. How many times does 13 go into 33? The answer is 2, 2 times 13 is 26, that gives us a 2 here and a remainder of 7. So we've got how many times does 13 go into 78? Uh, and as we said before, the answer is 6. So this is terminated therefore at 0 0.626. Uh, but if you remember at the start, we moved the decimal place by one space to make this 13, so we move it again. Uh, so 0 0.626 multiplied by 10, whoops. Uh, so that gives us 6.26 as our final answer. If you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and there's a variety of different question types as well so you get multiple choice. Some will require you to type an answer straight in so all is good preparation for your exam. Uh, now you get instant feedback on everything so it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve. So if you're interested you can click the link below and it'll take you over to the site.